So let's move on with a simple example to see how we can do PCA components on different site of matrices. Let's begin with the simple matrix that we have been using before, that we have also shown the SVD computation on. So this matrix X, which is a three by two, which is given here on the screen that you see here. So in order for us to do the you know, PCA, the first thing that we have to do, if you recall from the previous lecture, that we have to compute what is known as the covariance matrix denoted by C. And what is a covariance matrix? It is essentially X transpose multiplied by X itself. And then what we do is we do an eigenvalue decomposition of this covariance matrix and that gives us the loadings or the eigenvectors and that loadings and eigenvectors are represented in this capital V matrix, okay? And then if we use that, right, V matrix, then what we can do is we can represent the principal component by T, which is equivalent to X multiplied by V, and where V is essentially containing the loadings or the eigenvectors that are coming from the covariance matrix C, okay? So let's see how to compute this. So again, very similar to the previously, we are uploading, uh, you are storing this, you know, uh, matrix X in np.array format. And then you know, what we are doing is we are, um, you know, shaping this matrix. And the first thing that we are doing is we are computing this covariance matrix C, which is essentially taking the dot product or dot multiplication of X transpose with the X matrix, okay? And once we have done that, what we do is we do the eigenvalue decomposition of the covariance matrix C. So in order to take the eigenvalue, we are using dot I, EIG or dot eig function from the numpy and that helps us in essentially doing the eigen decomposition. Once we have done that, we can print out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors that are coming out from the covariance matrix C and then from using that, we project this X on the principal component space using you know the, this transformation which is np dot x comma eigenvector so that is so that is where we are essentially computing this matrix t which is essentially the dot product of matrix x and v and that is essentially implemented by this uh, command np dot x comma eigen underscore vex which is essentially projecting x onto the pc space that we have Okay, so let's execute this code and see what is the output of this code. Okay, so if you look into the output of this code, the things that we have outputted is first we are, you know, creating the covariance matrix by, uh, you know, from the matrix X. Then we do eigen decomposition of the covariance matrix that gives us the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. And then we use that eigenvectors to basically present the data in the eigenvector space that is out there. So those are the four output that you see after the code block that we have done, right? Now this is the PCA based approach, but you can also use SVT, the singular value decomposition to also do the, uh, you know, principal component analysis, right? If you recall for the same exact X, right? For the same X, which is here, we computed the support, sorry, singular value decomposition or SVT, right? and we got the matrices U, sigma, and V for this matrix, okay? So if I quickly go back previously, you will see that we were using this matrix here, X, and we are doing the SVD on X, and from there, what we got? We got the singular value decomposition, and so for that matrix X, the U, sigma, and the V is denoted right here, in what you see in the screen right now. So this U, sigma, and V is what we are going to be using. And then using that, we are going to be doing the principal component analysis using the SVD approach, right? So once we got the, you know, U, right, matrix that we have and the sigma that we have, from getting the U and sigma and using the U and sigma matrix out of the singular, singular value decomposition, we can, you know, project the X into X, 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 VD space and that is essentially equivalent to carrying out the principal component analysis. So the code that you see here, right, where we are using the U and the sigma matrices, okay, and we are taking the dot product of these two matrices, that essentially automatically does the principal component analysis. So, you know, 
So this is the second approach that we have learned in the you know previously, uh, which does not use the covariance matrix but uses a SVD based approach to implement the principal component analysis that we have. Okay, so the principal can be either from the decomposition of the covariance matrix or you can use the SVD and you can carry out the overall uh, principal component analysis. Okay. 